Good morning. Good morning, how are you? I'm fine. Oh. This man, this man, this man, you better hurry, you. you better hurry, let's do what we have to do. I'm not refunding any check to anybody. I'm not refunding any check to anybody. Business associate here, mm -hmm. Zeuche. Chief Uche has been coming here for years and has practically watched you grow from a young girl in secondary school to a woman in university. To God be the glory, today you're a graduate. We both decided that he will visit today with his first son, Michael. Michael here is a good and humble boy. He is an epitome of success in every ramification of life and most of all he is every woman's dream so you can see today's visitation is not by coincidence we planned it to bring the both of you our children together to see if you like yourself and if something good can come out of this we will be the happiest parent on the face of the earth to see the two of you end up liking each other and eventually getting married because then you will not be married in another home it will be like marrying in your own home a royal family just like our own where Michael's father and mother will be your father and mother and will love and treat you like their own daughter so Adora here is Michael Uche Michael here is Adora Obi my princess. You're beautiful. You should have told me to help you carry these. Are they not heavy? No, not at all. There is no problem in carrying them. But that is what I want to do the rest of my life. To help you with stuff. Sit down. After you? 
No. I want to get you something to eat and drink. What would you like to have? Well, um, I'll leave that to your discretion. Anything you give me, I'll take. Mm. Okay. What did he ask for? He asked for nothing. He said I should use my discretion. And uh, is that how suitors behave? Adora, you should come to self lucky that you're dealing with a suitor. Suitors are easier to deal with than husbands because husbands take over your life. So what do you think would be good enough for your man? Um, I want to give him ice cream first, then food later. Yes, my man. Is he my man? He's your man. Only brother he becomes another woman's man. Mm -hmm. Adora, your father and I knew we were going to like each other. So we're not wrong. So, sir, do anything that you think would be good enough for you? Eh? Okay. Mm -hmm. So what's the craziest thing you've ever done? Nothing really. Think oh. Except the days I overslept and I was late for school, when I was in secondary school. You call that crazy? Yes. Sure? Come. This is crazy. Yes, you are really crazy. This is crazy. <laughs> can you swim? Oh. Not really, but I can try. Okay. But <laughs> oh, you want to swim? Michael. 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 Michael! Michael, stop it! Michael! Excuse me. Sorry. So you want to join me? No. Why? No. no. Why? No. Let's, let's go. No! Adora! Ada! Mommy? Michael is here. Mm. Michael. Mm. Did you tell me? Mm. 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 Adora. Something I want to ask you in your house and in the presence of your parents. Will you marry me? Yes.
Wow, Michael. Good afternoon. Sit down. Good afternoon. Father, yes. meet your daughter. Adora, meet your father. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, my daughter. Welcome to my family. Your mother is here too. You're welcome. It's that little. Michael, this is your wife. Daughter, this is your husband. Yes. Um, I plan to have your wedding in Cyprus. All expenses will be on me. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Yes. That's the way it's supposed to be. Yeah. Now, let me bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Heavenly Father, I call upon you at this hour, as it pleases you that your children will be gathered together as husband and wife. Father, may all their dreams come true in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, as they come together for the first time in their lives as husband and wife, the way they should be. So it will take a miracle for her to get pregnant. But I'm not God. Anything can still happen. Doctor, in front of you is my results test. So please talk to me in clear terms. Will I ever get pregnant or not? That is what I'm saying. You see, medically it is impossible for you to get pregnant due to a malfunction in your fallopian tubes. Doctor, um, is there any way this can be corrected? I mean, surgically or any other way, is there any solution at all? Actually, the answer is no. Such problems cannot be surgically remedied. Doctor, can this be kept here? Please, um, I, I don't want anybody outside this room to know about it. That's our parents, her parents and my parents, please. It's okay, that's not a problem. Uh, nobody will hear about it. I'll keep your secret. Let me take my wife home now. I don't think she's in the right frame of mind. I can see. Adora, please take it easy. Hmm? Such knowledge is bound to make anybody unhappy but the most important thing is life you can adopt a child and love him or her just like your own this is all in the mind hmm? take it easy yeah?
wife, not me. Why are you going to? You are already adding a lot to what we are going through. Please don't do this. No, no. Don't even stop me. I'm mean, inadequate, okay? You were there when the doctor said it. My tubes are messed up. I can't give you a baby. Of which use is my continued stay in this house. Very soon, your parents will get tired of me. They will ask you to bury another wife to give them your children. Even if you would get tired of me, let me go. Yeah, um, I'd like to see your girl look. What is your name? Adora. We went to the same school way back. I don't know if you will remember me. Tell him, Adora, that I used to insult him anytime he's organizing one of those parties for politicians where they need lots of girls. Adora, that was in business management department. That he used to call difficult Adora. Okay, wait a minute. Let me check if he's in. Look, you have not changed one bit. Oh, how lie? You are still the same old Ogalu that is chasing all the fine girls on campus. Ah, Adora, what do you expect? Maybe pimp a bee. Not pimp a bee. They say bring 100 girls for the party, and 400 girls and bring them for the party. Sometimes even more. Mm -hmm. You see, thank God all the girls were in like you. All right, I'm going to have a seat. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you're looking very beautiful. I hope you're married now. Yes, I'm married. Oh, praise be to God. Any child? N no child, yes. Oh, God will give you, okay? Yeah. God will surely give you. I mean, if all these bad girls in campus, they used to do abortion at least once or twice a month to get married and have children, why wouldn't God give you? Oh, God will surely give you, okay? Amen. Don't worry. Oh God, look, mm. it is those bad ones that God blesses more. I don't know why. They marry early. They have kids early. They don't have any problems in their life. But we that married as virgin, no sure. But I'll still be good. No matter what it does to me or how it tastes me. Oh no, keep praying. Keep praying, okay? The same God that gave you husband will give you a child, okay? God times is the best. Trust him. Hmm? Um, okay, look. Yeah. Do you still do that same old business <laughs> that you old girls up with men? <laughs> Adora, work in this country. Not all. Work in this country. No. I do my same old business. And I'm enjoying it. Trust me, there is no business like one business. It is the best business. Oh, God, look. Oh. I have a problem. Yeah, you're crying. That's why I came to see you. Oh, come on, why? Don't cry. Oh, stop crying, stop crying, stop crying, okay? Oh. Whatever it is, so I got a solution, okay?
Yeah, sorry. I've been dying and dying with not picking. You got me worries. I don't need any money. But uh happy wedding anniversary. Oh my god! <laughs> Typical of me, I forgot. I'm so sorry that I don't know. <laughs> I just want you to know that for the past four years, it's been the best years of my life. You are my life, my wife, my love, my best friend, my sister, and everything that comes with it. Every time I'm down and I wake up in the morning and I see your face, trust me, I get uplifted again. So I decided to get you this beautiful dress. Hope you like it. Baby, what's wrong? Why are you crying? Sweetheart, all I do is receive gifts from you. Every Christmas, every wedding anniversary, every Valentine, every holiday. But I still can't give you one thing I really wish to give to you. Why? But I'm not complaining, Adora. No, that's why it's painful. I wish you were complaining so I would know where I stand. This is where you stand, Adora. In my heart. Okay, so don't worry, okay? Okay. Alright, so let's celebrate. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> eh? Have some champagne. Four years is really nothing. It feels like yesterday when my son gladdened my heart by marrying my best friend's daughter. Oh. <laughs> Four years ago, I made the best decision of my life. Hmm. <laughs> Adam the king. Adam. Adam Ganga. Ain't you proud? Hmm? Ain't you proud that such a declaration of contentment is coming from your husband? Anything is bothering my daughter in law. I better find out and take care of it fast. Excuse me. Michael, did you quarrel with her before we came in? Michael, my son in law, please eat your food. Eat your food. We all know that what is bothering Ada is an open secret. Doesn't she always go like this when you shower praises on her? Ah, please, it's okay. It's your food, okay? It's your food. My daughter, you cannot question God. And no one can. He is still God and lives in heaven and directs the affairs of men here on earth. I know in no distant time that he will wipe away our tears. He's going to put smiles on our faces. Please, don't worry, okay? Come to the table. Everybody's worried about you. Thank you, mother. You're welcome. Let's go. She wants to kill herself because she has not given us a baby. And despite that, Michael is praising her to high heavens. Uh -uh. What is wrong with either of you? It is true, I, I want to carry my own grandchild in my own arms. 
But I am patient enough to wait until the day it happens. And it will come in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I am serving a living God. I am Adora's mother. I am not barren. I mean, I wasn't barren. I carried her in, her, in my womb and gave back to her. So I see no reason why my own child should not bear fruit. My daughter will bear fruit. She will bear fruit at God's own time in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. For a woman to um, try to convince them of something, it won't work. So what do we do now? Well, 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 um, I think you should still look around and uh, make a choice. And this time, rest assured that I'll bring her to my house. And um, you meet her tomorrow morning and then you will talk to her. That particular girl is very strict. She's the strictest among all the girls that come here. Okay, look, I like her. Despite everything, I don't mind. But my problem is, I think it's going to take a while for us to convince her. And I don't have such time. My husband has been calling me to know my whereabouts. He would not eat if I'm not home. He will do it if I'm not there, and I will not eat if he's not there too. Very impressive. Um, so do you mean uh, married people still I mean, love each other like that these days? I mean, I thought uh, such born in marriage ended back in the days of our parents. That is how we have built our own. We live like that and love like that. Even this thing I'm doing, he doesn't know about it. And he's not bothered because he trusts me. Because he knows I'm still going to tell him at the end of the day. Hmm. Okay, well, um, in that case, let me just uh, see you up to your car. And uh, leave everything to me, okay? You just come to my house tomorrow and uh, she'll be there and ready to talk to you. I know that girl, she's difficult, but uh, I can handle it, you know, trust me. Ogalu, are you assuring me? Oh, yes, why am I called Ogalu? I am the master of this game. Deborah, when you knew me, I was having my bachelor's in pimping business. Now, I'm a doctor degree holder in this business. I'm in large and in charge. Come tomorrow morning, I'll make sure you get out.
and perfect. It's not just going to be for one night. You're going to stay in our house until my husband gets you pregnant. If you agree, I'll give you a posted check of 1.5 million naira. That's your cash Monday next week. That's after you have spent the first few weeks in my house. When you get pregnant, I'll give you 5 million naira, making 6.5 million naira. You stay in my house till you give back to the baby. I'll give you another 5 million naira and take the baby. You go your way and contract is over. And God will bless you wherever you go for cleaning the tears and shame of a childless mother in this world. And to you, Ogalog, I have a check of 600,000 for making the Ogo. I'm, I'm sorry, ma'am. I have to ask, your husband, is he in on this? I mean, is he in support? Mary, you are my only obstacle. If you say yes to me, convincing my husband will not be a problem. Yes, um, Adora, are you sure of this? How sure are you? 100% sure. Very well then. Um, but you're asking for nine months of my life in exchange for 11.5 million. I think you should make it 15 million. Um, 15 million Naira is not too much for me to give to you for what you want to do for my sister. As I talk to you, the money is coming from my pockets and my husband knows nothing about it. But when you give back to the baby, I'm assuring you, giving you the difference of 3.5 million naira will not be a problem. Is that a deal? Yes, it's an agreement. Okay, one, two, um, I would have uh, wished that you add uh, 400,000 to make it 1 million. You know. Okay, okay, look. I'll give you 600,000 naira check. And I'll give you 400,000 on Monday. Good. As far as I'm concerned, this deal is sealed. On Friday, Mary will come to your house. Okay? And everything will go as planned. Not so, Mary. Um, yes, yes. On, on Friday, I'll be at your place. But I would rather prefer to get my weekend bag and bring it here while she picks me up from here. Okay, then. And um, before I forget, I would like to take you for HIV screening sometimes next week. If you're negative, then it's a deal. Meanwhile, let me give you your custody checks. Thank you. I'd like to be on my way now. Mary, do you want me to give you a ride? Um, um, I... Oh, no, no, no. Um, Mary and I have uh, one more thing to discuss. Uh, please go well. And everything will be taken care of, okay? By God's grace. Uh, I'll see you on Friday. Oh, of course. Bye. I'm sorry for stopping. Bye, Smile. Mary. <clears throat> Mary. Talking to you. Now, let's talk about my own God. 
I sold there. How much are you going to give me? How much do you want? <laughs> well, I wish I could, but anyway, um, you have gotten or you will get 15 million. Let me get four. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, look. I'm the one who's carrying the baby. I'm the one whose body is going to change, not yours. Besides, you know the risk involving childbirth. Don't worry. They will take you to the best hospitals in town. In fact, the VVIP hospitals. And after that, you go to the gymnasium and get yourself uh, into shape just as you were. Oga, look, she's giving you one million. Let me give you two. Hmm. Mary, I don't want us to argue about this, okay? Make it three. Okay. Oh, okay. Most importantly, we have to pray for our husband to be in on this. I mean, <laughs> this is good money. Yes, he will be in. I'm definitely sure. Oh, God, Can't you see the way she talk? She's so nice. Yeah. Uh, we're waiting for you to come to our room. What are, what are you doing? Why are you going? Why are you dressed up? A new friend of mine just got to town. She's stranded somewhere. I need to pick her up. She'll stay with us tonight and continue her journey tomorrow. Um. But you haven't never told me. She called me when I was in the bathroom. Let me go. No. Thank you. Everything I told you now is a pack of lies. I don't ever want to lie to you. Instead, I would not tell you anything. I'll wait till when I'm ready to tell you the truth. And let me go and pick her. When I get back, I'll tell you everything. Please. I need you to trust me one more time this night. When I get back, you will know everything, please. Eh? Mm. You need a baby. I need a baby. Your parents need a grandchild. My parents need a grandchild too. Please, her name is Mimi. This is what I've been up to. So what? She, she's going to give us a baby? I mean, does she have a baby? You would get her pregnant and she will give us a baby. This is business. She will give us the baby, then she disappears. And we have talked at length. We understand each other. We're going to be here for everything. This is what I've been up to. Are you thinking right? I think you're joking, seriously. My girl, please. Don't do this because you want to do it. Do it because you want to save me. I'm tired of this heavy burden, please. And who gave you this idea? And nobody. I thought it up myself. Well, well, I'm sure the devil has been thinking for you because you need prayers. 
Maybe you do not know this. Every night while you're sleeping, I'm awake thinking and thinking and dying as I imagine how the cry of the baby will sound in this house. My girl, please. Adora, we need children like most married people do, okay? But I can't do what you're asking. I cannot sleep with another woman. My heart can't take it. And my body can't do something that my heart can't take. I just can't do it! Why? Other men cheat on their wife. It's no big deal this day. Please, my girl. I chose the best girl I could find. She's not bad looking. How do I just stop? Just, 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 just stop it! Okay? Stop it! Please. Please, my girl. If you love me, please make me complete in the eyes of people. Please. Please, I beg of you. My girl. Sleep in the guest room, everything will be tomorrow. Why the delay? This is my ovulation period. Then do it now, let's do it. Ah, that's a good one. Don't worry, everything will be very fine tomorrow. Okay. Well, let's go. Oh, when you make love to her 